Hello, 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 and welcome, welcome. It's Ashonda Henry here, aka Sister Sense, always here to share some fire, 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 and motivate my fellow entrepreneurs out there to do what you need to do to power through to your best you online. Hopefully I am right on time because today what I want to do is talk to you about being ready for revenue. I actually want to talk to you about being ready for the call. Are you ready for Oprah's call? <laughs> Are you ready for a call from Oprah herself that says, hey, I like what you got. <laughs> I want you. I want to see you here right now. Hey, Shanita, good morning, good morning. So we're going to talk about are you ready for Oprah's call, making sure that you can GRO, grow your business. And you know, when I talk about GRO, it's all about being in a space where you work, you learn to get rich online, living a rich lifestyle online. You learn to generate revenue online and you learn to get better at focusing on GRO, your goals, your routines and your offers, okay? So of course, first and foremost, feel free to share this out because sharing is caring, number one. Number two, if you are here, whether you're watching me live or on the replay side, say hello and let me know who you are. Uh, number three, if you are watching on the replay side, always remember to drop into the comment box, hashtag replays rock. So turn on those alerts and notifications, okay? So you also can see when you can see me live, right? So make sure if you see a bell, you turn that on so you can check in. Hello, Songbird, good morning, good morning. So let's do this. This morning, this was not actually the session that I was gonna do today, right? But God works in mysterious ways and I'll tell you why. Uh, my hubby, he has 12 hour shifts at his job. He works in the evening and he comes home about seven o'clock in the morning, right? He came home a little early today, about 6.30, right? So he's gliding in. Me now, I'm in my own little world. Because <laughs> guess what? I got a message that says, Oprah wants to fly you out and see her today, okay? I was like, what? Oprah wants to fly me out? I'm there. I'm on the phone. I'm talking to a lady. She's about to tell me all the details of what I need to know because Oprah is ready to fly me out today, okay? And guess what? <laughs> as my hubby rolls into bed and then I go, wait, it's 630. Why are you home so early? And then I go, wait, Oprah wants to talk. No, <laughs> I realize it's a dream <laughs> and I'm dreaming. You know how sometimes your dreams are so, so freaking real. I am actually dreaming. And I was like, first of all, damn it, it's a dream. Second of all, even if it was a dream, damn it, you woke me up. I wanted to know what Oprah wanted me for. I wanted to know why she messaged me. Damn it, let me get back to the dream. <laughs> so the funny story here is in that moment, I wanted to jump on here and share this, not just to share this, but to have a, are you ready for revenue conversation? Because real talk, when I got that message, literally in my mind, I was on the phone, so I'm dreaming, right? And I'm on the phone with the lady who was telling me and explaining to me, Oprah's going to fly me out. She was about to tell me what, what the whole thing was about. I'm sitting there thinking about, oh, I got to get a gift for Oprah. I got all this product. I got all this stuff that I'm putting together, right? So I was really, really, really like, damn, <laughs> I can't believe this was just a dream. So I'm going to show you a couple of products that I have that were Oprah ready. Right. So number one, are you ready for new opportunities? Are you ready for not just a call from Oprah, but for what that stands for, for people wanting your stuff, right? For the end of year. So that, you know, you think about Black Friday, Cyber Monday, when everybody is selling this and selling that and everybody's like, I need it, I need it, I'm grabbing it. Because the last quarter is the Christmas of all Christmases for business owners and entrepreneurs, right? Are you ready for that? those kind of opportunities. So what we're gonna do today is have a revenue readiness conversation so that you can figure out A-I-M-S, am I missing something? Because if you're missing something, we wanna make sure that you got what you need to grow your business this year. I'm gonna ask you three major questions. We're gonna start with the first one now, okay? So your brand. Is your brand ready? What are some things that you want to have in your brand as far as brand products, programs, packages, offers? 
What are some things that you want to have ready this year? I need you to think about that. I need you to be clear about that. I need you to get the ball rolling, especially for those of you who have felt like you're pushing it back. You keep moving back. I need you to get the ball rolling so you're moving forward. I want to share that motivation for those of you whose fire maybe has fizzled. So I'm going to share a couple of things that I've been able to work on over the years and this year. And in doing so, again, this is an opportunity for you to think about, are you ready to? Okay. So <laughs> when that lady was like, girl, you know, Oprah ready to call, uh, fly you out. I said, Whew, I'm ready. I am ready to go. <laughs> I had my number one signature sister sense bag ready to fill up with all kind of good, good for Oprah, right? So <laughs> I said, number one, she going to get the Fire Start Your Year Planner, which I launched this year for my girl bosses out there looking to really get clear about their year. I got the planner over here. I've got workbooks. I've got the position to profit. So all my brand offers that I've been printing out and creating for my ladies. The first one, I'm going to tell you something. You can find a way or you can find an excuse, but you can't do both. I hadn't written for years. I hadn't like written anything for years. And I kept telling myself, I'm too busy. I don't have a time to write the book. I can't write nobody's book. I said, you can find a way, Lashonda, or find an excuse. So I decided to sit down and write a booklet. Right, something that is under 50 pages, but something that I could print out and I can give to people, share, and grow from there. So, this was one of the first things, right? My book, Lit, uh, my mini big booklet series that I started to produce, right? I said, Start Her Up, Startup Secrets for, for Girl Bosses. Bam. <sighs> people come to me and they say, I want to be like you. How did you do what you do? How did you go from the nine to five? How did you go from the hustle bustle? How did you go from living in apartments to now having your own home, owning your own car? I put sat down and I created my new normal life design guide. Everything that I did to get to where I am, I put in this thing. The, the workbook, excuse me. There's a workbook, a physical book, and an audio series. I put it in there. As I share with you the examples of these workbooks and planners, my branded bag, girl, I got my own t-shirt. I draw, but I got a, another woman, an amazing Sister Girl graphics designer to put together my Sister Sense t-shirt for me. I said, Oprah getting all this stuff. No matter if she, it can't fit her. <laughs> Everything I got is going in this bag for Oprah. Mind you, I am dreaming. Dream, because you know, sometimes your dreams are so real. But the message came to me, and I can't remember if it was an email or a text message, but it says, Oprah wants to fly you out today. And I was literally getting all my stuff ready for Oprah. I was on the phone with the lady about to tell me what I needed to do to get going. And then my hubby comes in bed, and I realize it's a damn dream. <laughs> Songbird says, I need that workbook and planner. Well, whatever you need, I got you. Email me, sisters at gmail.com, and I'll tell you exactly where to go. Now, it's funny, I also, you guys can check it with me because this is, I'm going to ask you three core questions here today, right? The first question is, what brand products, what packages, what services, what contents do you want to have ready this year? Stop rolling yourself back, pushing yourself back. What do you want to have ready this year, okay? Reconnect with yourself because it's possible that at the beginning of the year, you had these great visions and dreams and somewhere along the line, you've lost track of them. You've disconnected with them. So this is an opportunity for you to reconnect with the you you want to see in the future, right? One of my favorite messages that I received this week, powerful message, know and believe that you already have it. Whatever it is that you say you want, know and believe that you already have it. Because I'm going to be honest with you, visualization works. So if you know and believe that you already have it, you ain't begging nobody for it. You ain't asking nobody for it. You have divinely claimed it. And all you got to do is work towards it. Walk towards it. Not by sight, but by faith. Know and believe that it's already yours. Because see, let me tell you something. What we believe in we focus on, but we believe in, we build, but what we doubt, we delay. So all the things you do and you want right, all the things you say you want to have done, but they ain't done yet, 
It ain't just your time, honey. It's not just your lack of resources, honey. It's your belief system. How much do you believe in these things that you say you want to build? What you believe you build, what you doubt you delay. So if you want to get the things that you want today or this year, if you want to be ready for that call from Oprah, because when she called me in my dreams this morning, I was ready. <laughs> you got to believe. You got to put these things in motion. Let's be clear. I was ready for this call this morning. Lord, I was ready. I was mad at this fool for coming in bed and waking my behind up, because even if it was a dream, I still wanted to know what she wanted me for. <laughs> I was to be all ready for the call from Oprah this morning. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, which means that I am so ready. Number one, I have several ready for revenue, ready for revenue resources for you. Write this down, sisterscents.com forward slash ready. Some of you need some resources. Some of you need to sit and talk to me. Some of you need to be inside of my Sister Sense summer circle so you can get all the tools and resources I got for you. You ain't ready. But if you say you ready and you're not doubting yourself and you're tired of delaying yourself and you're ready to build up and boss up yourself, then you take a look. This is sense.com forward slash ready. Number one. Number two. And I see here that Miss Songbird was like, look, I need that workbook. I need that planner. Outside of what you see on the ready resources page there, because I want to help you power through and fix what you need to succeed. You can check in. You can email me, sense at gmail.com and let me know specifically what are those things that you're ready for right? The best way, honestly, is to get on a call with me. So when you go over to sistersense.com for assess ready, well, you'll see all of these wonderful fix-it resources and solutions. One of those things is you having the opportunity to get on a phone and call and talk to me, right? Tell me what you're ready for. I can work you through it because look, you can find a way or find an excuse, but you cannot do both, okay? Ready for blessed Oprah call. Amen. Hey, Trisha. Hey, Giovanna. Hey, Shanita. Hey, LaVon. Welcome, welcome, ladies. Feel free to share this out because, of course, sharing is caring or tag somebody who needs to hear this, right? So um, today is my clarity calls day, funny enough, by the way. Um, and my first clarity calls normally start at 9, but with my client in the UK, we tend to start at 9 in the morning. Um, but I said to her, girl, I don't know how this happened, but somebody booked me at 9.30. So if you want that hour, we're going to have to start at 8.30. So she in the UK, so she was fine. So she was like, okay, I'll see you at 8.30. So I only have but 30 more minutes to talk you through, walk you through three questions you need to ask yourself if you want a GRO, generate revenue online and work towards your GRO growth goals, okay? That first question, what products, packages, programs do you want to create? I showed you a couple of stuff that I has. I said, Lord, Oprah called me this morning, Lord. I got to get her bag ready. <laughs> so I got my sister says bag here. I was mentally in my dream state processing all the stuff that I was putting in the bag. I showed you a couple of things. My uh, new, the, the new normal life design workbook that I created when I said I need to show people what it is to create new normals in their life. My fire start your year planner. I had some amazing, beautiful women come out to my work shop the, at the beginning of this year. You can see them back here. See the photos of the ladies. I created a little uh, booklet of some of the articles that they had written. Um, I also have my Good Morning Girl Boss journal. I released the journals this year over at scissorsense.com for it. That's GMGB, the Good Morning Girl Boss journal. Because I said, Oprah going to get all this from me. She going to get my journal. <laughs> Like a kid in a candy store. You know when you see your mom and you're like, mommy, 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 look at all the stuff that I created, right? I was like, boop, I am ready for you. My new est book, Sister Sets Online Marketing Made Easy. Everything in the bag. The book, the planner, the, the... Girl, I even got bling for Oprah. Never mind, Oprah don't need my damn bling, but I got bling for you too. <laughs> so here, let me show you. This right here is a stainless steel bracelet. It's designed like a cross. And this is one of my signature Sister Sense gifts. Uh, it's the Unblock Your Blessings bracelet. I bought this for myself, and then I went and started to buy them in mass uh, because I have a series called Unblocking Your B Blessings. So I have the Bling Drive, which doggone it, I don't have in front of me right now. How it is that I don't have my Bling Drive with me, I don't know. It's supposed to be right here with everything else. But the Unblock Your but I said, I am ready. Do you hear me? I'm ready. I was in the dream state. 
I was ready for that call from Oprah. I had everything planned out to gift to her so she could see how hard I've been working for my girl bosses, for my entrepreneurs to create my brand, to build my business, to build them books and planners and bags and t-shirts and all that stuff. What do you want to produce this year? Right? Nice bracelet. Beautiful. Thank you, my dear. What do you want to produce this year? What do you want to get out of your head, out of your notebook and into the world? I need you to identify those things, reconnect with those things, because those are powerful things. You need to be ready for the call. And now, because it, I, I'm talking to you guys about, this was not my intended topic for this morning, but woke up this morning uh, in the dream state and Oprah had messaged me and said, hey, I want to fly you out. Let's do this, right? And then I woke up, my hubby woke me up and I realized. <laughs> I realized it was a dream, but whether or not it was a dream, I was ready for Oprah's call, number one. And not just the, I don't even think that it was just simply, specifically Oprah, but being in a space where you're ready for opportunities to come to you. You're ready for revenue, right? You've created the space to be able to showcase your best of who you are and what your purpose is, what you want to offer into this world. Some of you, you've got it, the ideas. Who have the ideas in their head? Or you've got notebooks upon notebooks of what you want to do, but you still haven't quite put it all together, right? Put the pieces of the puzzle together so that you can put it out there and have it work for you. Who's in that state? I want you to identify the things that you need the things that you want to produce, the things that you want to create. I was actually on a consultation call with a uh, potentially new client uh, on Monday. And she said, LaShonda, I've been working on this program. And I said, okay, well, what do you need for the website? What do you need for the program? She said, you know, I said, is the program done? Do you have videos done, audios done, worksheets done? She said, honestly, the program is still in my notebook. <laughs> I need to, to digitize it. I need to virtualize it, right? Um, and so I was talking to her about some things I could do to support her in that process, right? Of turning the concept into something that's actually virtual online that is sellable, right? What do you need? That was the first topic. Second thing that I want you to think about is, okay, so the first question was, what do you want to have ready, okay? And I'm going to be honest with you, when I think about the question of what do you want to have ready, whether it's physical products, right, whether it's digital products, whether it's services or programs, where are you with that process? What you got rolling, right? Not rolling back, but rolling forward, right? I literally have some products being shipped to me between now and September. They're being shipped to me because I'm ready for that final quarter and the things that I'm releasing at that point right? What are you launching? What are you releasing? What are you ready for? What do you want to create and see out there as far as your business and your brand by the end of the year, right? Focus number one. Number two, are you ready to grow your community? So, you know, Oprah has her own Oprah touch, Midas touch, bing, bam, right? So if she or some amazing opportunity falls in your lap, are you ready? Think about how many times we've seen this before. People have gotten that Oprah Midas touch and they want ready for it. They have products ready. They have a website ready. They have no place for folks to go. Nothing. Nothing was ready, right? Are you ready for that? Funny enough, you know, moving away from Oprah for just two seconds, and I want to think about my girl, Tanyanya Taylor. Tanyanya, Ten, Ten, I can never pronounce her name. Tanyanya Taylor. Y'all know who I'm talking about, right? From uh, Sweet 16, amazing Afro rapper, artist, singer. And then she's now, she's got her beautiful basketball hubby and they beautiful baby. They make a beautiful family. Um, I remember when I saw her a few years ago on an awards show and she was dancing for a song that Kanye West had released and she stole the show. Forget his song, forget the awards. She was the magic of the night, right? And so interestingly enough, one of the conversations that buzzed the day after was the fact that she wasn't ready. Like she should have had products. She should have had her own, you know, because she just had a baby. So snatch back, body looking fabulous. She should have had her own Tanyanya Taylor, you know, exercise workout routine so you could get your body right and tight just like me. She should have had t-shirt. She, I mean, I don't know if she knew she was going to blow up like blow up like that because everybody just loved her dance routine for the for the Kanye West that award, that award ceremony. But the whole buzz and visibility of her and who she was in that moment was like, girl, you should have been ready for that, right? Kind of like Beyonce. Think about that. She is always ready. Now, Beyonce don't need it to get no more ready than she is, right? But when she drops, she drop it like it's hot. <laughs> 
She got, you know, Coachella. She has new music dropping. She has music that you can watch and videos dropping. She has, come on, Lion King. She got this new uh, music video and Blue Ivy stole the show. Everybody up in their feelings. When she drop, she is ready for everything. New t-shirts, new products, new music. New concerts, got concerts where she by herself, got concerts where she with her boo, got cartoon, and well, not animated, but movies for the children's too. She ready, she's ready for revenue. Any possibility, profit stream, purpose stream, living my best life experience, she ready for, right? Are you always ready? And are you ready for when you blow up to be in a position to take that attention? Who's ready for that? Because real talk, y'all want revenue, right? If you want to grow, put GRO in the comment box. You know GRO is a signature citizen statement. When I say GRO, I mean a couple of things. First, GRO, get rich online, but not rich by, ooh, I'm girl, I'm making seven figures in seven days. Not that BS fake stuff. I'm talking about living a rich life, having success on your terms, having the freedom and flexibility to do what you want for who you want, living your godly purpose, rich. GRO, get rich online, using the online platform to build your flexibility and freedom. GRO, generate revenue online. Because before you can get rich online, you have to start actually making some revenue, right? GRO and then GRO, focusing on three things that you really need to grow, your goals, your routines, and your offers. You guys have to get better at creating your best offers, get better at working in routines where you're not just trying to work in your business activities when you got some free time, but you've strategically scheduled time to work on your business on a routine basis, your goals, and not just goals of, oh girl, I want to make seven figures. I want to get off this damn job. I want to get that book released. But goals, not just the accomplishments that you want to achieve, but the action steps that you go and take. Because everybody got accomplishment goals. Everybody want to win the lottery. Everybody want to see Oprah. Everybody got accomplishment goals. But the difference between the people who are successful and the people who are still in the same place they were a year ago is those people don't just have accomplishment dreams. They have action steps. They have tasks, things that they do to power through to their best you. G-R-O, get rich online, generate revenue online, work on your goals, your routines, and your offers. I see some yes. Hey, my dear. Welcome, welcome. 13 Star Power. Welcome, welcome. You have a sure, fine blueprint, very detailed in information. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you for being here. Feel free to share this out or tag somebody who needs to hear this because I've been online for almost 20 years, y'all. And one of my superpowers is I know how to break this stuff all the way loud. Like, break it on down. <laughs> we all have superpowers. I've been an entrepreneur, a mentor, uh, a web designer, graphics designer, creating books and all these amazing products that I'm sharing with you here to motivate you to move forward. So if I can help you break this on down, get some clarity and direction, that's what I'm here for. So like I mentioned before, as I shared with you a little bit earlier, some of the products I've produced over the years, some of those products I've produced this year, like my favorite right here, the Good Morning Girl Boss Journal. One of my favorite products that I launched this year over at sisterscents.com forward slash GMGB. The concept behind Good Morning Girl Boss is it's a 30-day motivational. So whatever day today is, you can literally go to that day, read the message for the day, and write down your own personal message to yourself. Um, as a matter of fact, what's today? Today's the 24th, right? I'm going to go to the 24th message so I can read you that message before I do anything else, okay? So, message for the day of the 24th. Don't look to be perfect, boss. Embrace all that is perfectly imperfect about you. Conformity is overrated. This cannot be overstated. You have vastly underestimated your gifts if you think you need to become anything beyond the truest version of you. Never forget, no one else is you, and that is your superpower, number one. What's number two? I just love divine right timing, because literally two seconds ago, I was like, my superpower is I know how to break it on down. And look, that's the message for today. I cannot make this up. <laughs> I wrote every single one of these messages. It's a 30-day series. Uh, there's the ebook, there's the journal, there's the audios. I'm ready. Are you ready? <laughs> 
Are you ready? Are you ready? So first question, what do you want to have ready this year before the end of the year? Let's be clear. What do you want to prepare? That's number one. Number two, I promise you that an opportunity is going to come to you and you got to be ready. Because see, when you're ready, you don't have to get ready, right? They always say when you stay ready, you don't got to rush and get ready. So even though it was just a dream this morning when Oprah called me and said, I'm about to fly you out, my hubby wake me, woke me up from that dream. Even though it was just a dream, I swear to you, I was ready for Oprah's call this morning. <laughs> I was so ready. I was so upset when hubby woke me up this morning. So if you have an open opportunity that falls in your lap, somebody goes, I want you on television today. I want to interview you for a magazine today. Are you ready for the exposure? Do you have a community for the potential tribe that's going to like your vibe, right? Because they say your vibe attracts your tribe. So if they like your vibe today and all of a sudden you got 5,000, 5 million, 5 billion people looking at you, are you ready to grow your community? This is a revenue readiness conversation, y'all. I want to make sure you're ready and that you know that in, when it comes to manifestation and GRO, when it comes to you growing and manifesting more in your life, you need to believe that it's already yours visualization works. Whatever it is that you say you want, don't psych yourself out. Don't worry about what you think they thinking about you. Believe that it's already yours. I already know this. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. I did a session a few days ago. I think it was Monday, to be honest with you. And watch are you watching on YouTube? And I talked about morning routines, your money talk, and your um, motivation. Watch that replay. At some point, baby girl got in her feelings. My eyes were closed. I was crying. And I was telling you, I already see it. I already see the people who I want to be, be working with. I see those people. They call me already. I see those people. I'm shaking hands with them. One of those people was Oprah. Eventually, we will see each other. But until then, I know I've already received it. I've already met her. I've already worked with and spoken to and gotten messages from the people I want to work with. Believe that it's already yours. Somebody write that down somewhere. Let's be clear. You're going to get it. You already got it. It's already yours. You mad because somebody don't quite believe in you. Somebody didn't buy from you today. It doesn't matter. The hills and the valleys, that doesn't matter. Your consistency, your unshaking faith, I said to you, do not walk by sight alone. Whatever you're seeing right now, whether you think that your, your funds is tight, you in debt right now, you challenge right now, you family struggling right now, you lost your job, don't let the sight of what you're seeing of your reality be confused to be your eternal truth because it's not. One of my favorite quotes, delayed but not denied because if he said it's for you, you already have it. All you got to do is work and walk towards it. Nothing else. You don't got to do nothing else. If he has already said it is for you, ain't nothing that's happening to you right now that you see needs to be misconstrued, misconstrued I should say, with what he said. <laughs> Another one of my favorite quotes, speak what you seek until you see what you said. You already have it. Believe that. What you believe, you build. What you doubt, you delay. And if y'all is delaying yourself today, it's because you doubting yourself and you doubting his power. Because he already said you got it. You just got to walk towards it. Right? So how are you ready to create a community? If Oprah, somebody comes to you, gives you an opportunity right now, are you ready for that? So what do you got? Do you have a Facebook group? Do you have an email list? Right? You got a social media tribe. Social media tribes are fine. I, I like that, but I got to be ghetto and use my teeth because I can't get this tissue open right now. Um, <laughs> social media tribes are fine, but I need people to grow because they can go on your email list and you can build your email tribe. Who's got an email list? Who's got a great incentive offer? So people can go and go on their newsletter and they tribe. You got an email list, a specific lead magnet. Drop it in the comment box for me. Are you ready for me or somebody else to get on your list today? Drop it in the comment box for me. 
Yesterday, I had a mastermind call last night with the ladies in my mastermind. And for the next 90 days, inside of the mastermind, we're talking about your growth goals, growing in three core areas. So are you ready to build a community in these three core areas? Your subscriber base, your email subscriber base, number one. Are you ready to build your email subscriber base? These questions are not rhetorical. I'm literally asking you. Feel free to drop into the comment box and let me know. Are you ready to build your email subscriber base? Number one, are you ready to build your customer base, which means you've got products that are done, that are online, that people can click, and the payments can be processed and sold? Do you have space for new customers, space for new email subscribers, space for new social media followers? Are you ready? to grow your community. Those are the three core areas that we're focused on in my mastermind over the next three months. So yesterday was the mastermind webinar because we had a call two weeks ago uh, and I did a training on some things that you can do to start growing your email list right now. Really great session. Replays about to go online. If you go, man, I would love to be in your mastermind, make sure that you go over to sizzlesense.com forward slash ready because I have some ready for revenue resources over there to help you get clear and to fix whatever is funky right now. <laughs> fix whatever's broken right now so you can move forward with your business vision this year, okay? Uh, one of those things is if you click on the Sister Sense Circle VIP list, a part of that VIP list is you being a part of my Back to Business virtual conference. I do it every year. This is the ninth year. And the theme this year is ready for revenue. And I tell you, that theme was in place from last year. Because before the, the last one is done, I already know what the focus is for next year. Ready for revenue, right? That's what my speakers are going to be talking about the, this year. The virtual, you get access to the virtual conference and the replays. Um, and you get access to all of this amazing content, eBooks, courses, webinars, bundles that I want to give to you so that you can work on your money, your marketing, and your sales goals too. You're also going to get access to my mastermind for those of you who want to be in there for the next 90 days. So as we work on the mid-year agenda of your growth goals, as far as your email growth, your sales growth, and your customer base growth. All of that is inside of the Sense Circle VIP list, okay? Which, by the way, goes away by the end of this week. So um, that is one of the resources, those ready for revenue resources that you can find. Uh, when you go over to sizzlesense.com forward slash ready, click on the link that says Sense Circle, the VIP list that has amazing things in there like the Back to Business Ready for Revenue virtual conference coming up this year, a 90-day mastermind class, my ebook series, my weekly webinars, because I do weekend webinars right now. All of that is in that summer circle. I cannot give you any more <laughs> that I'm already giving because I'm trying to give you all of me to help you, to help those of you in my community be ready, stay ready, get ready, find yourself where you want to be by the end of the year, okay? Now, whether you work with me or not, I want you to be clear about what you need to be thinking about right now. So the first question for you again, what do you want to have ready by the end of the year, the final quarter, right? The second question was, are you ready to grow your community, right? Are you ready for growth? Are you ready for new customers, new social followers, new email subscribers, right? So one of the things that we did yesterday, right, going into the last question, which is new email subscribers, I said to y'all just a while ago, if you have a lead magnet, if you have an email list that you go, hey, sign up, let me know what it is and what you're talking about on that list, okay? Hello, my dear. Welcome, welcome. What is your list and what are you talking about? I have a lot of different lists. One of them actually is, where's the book? Is for this one right here. Online Marketing Made Easy. There's a webinar that's absolutely free and you get a free sample of this book right here. When you go to sissersense.com forward slash O-M-M-E. Somebody drop that into the comment box for me. Sissersense.com forward slash O-M-M-E, Online Marketing Made Easy. Now, if you go to sissersense.com forward slash ready, there's a button on the side that says start here. It's going to take you there. You get the free webinar and also a free sample of this book right here, Okay. Um, this book I absolutely love. I talk about some of the marketing strategies that you need to be doing if you want to work on your growth. And if I got some time today, I'll jump on here and share some of those recommendations with you guys. Today is my clarity call day. So literally, I work with my private clients and we have call after call after call after call. By the way, if you want to set up some clarity call sessions with me, when you go over to sizzlesense.com forward slash ready, R-E-A-D, right? You can actually schedule a call with me. I rolled back to my clarity calls. My clarity calls are normally 30 minutes, $50. 
and 60 minutes, a hundred dollars. I'm qualified. I am confirmed. I have been doing this for 20 years. It is time to raise my rates. <laughs> so as of August 1st, those 30 minute calls will go from 50 to a hundred and those 60 minute calls will go from a hundred to 200. I'm ready for that. Right? So I say that to say this, before I get there, I've decided to roll back the rates so that those of you who are new to me or would like to lock in that $30, 30 minute can do so. And again, you can learn more about that over at sizzens.com for it's that's ready. So a couple of ladies in my circle, they always, they already got one or two or three, but you can even get 10, a block of 10 clarity calls with me. So literally yesterday when I was on my mastermind, one of the ladies was like, man, 10 calls, that's a lot. And I was like, look, it, it, it doesn't mean 10 calls. You do them in one week. <laughs> It means 10 calls you have me on retainer. So literally over a few months or even a whole year, when you want to, you could schedule a call and be like, all right, LaShonda, I'm ready. They, the calls don't expire. So you can use your 10 as you need it. Call me when you want to. Get on sessions. You have me on me, re retainer. And literally think about it. The 30-minute calls, they're going to go up to $100. So 10 calls with me at $100 for 30 minutes is $1,000. Right now, you're not paying 1000 when you lock in the $30, 30 minute calls, that 10 bundle, you're paying 300. So what is that? A saving of $700. And that's crazy because there's nobody or very few people, not qualified people. And I'm telling you this, not because I'm cocky, but because I'm confident. I've been doing this for 20 years. I've been working at home for 13 years. My son's going to be 13 this year. Bless God, right? When you get your baby to another year, you like, bless God, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. For real. They're folks that started today and they gone tomorrow and you know exactly who they are. I am still here by the grace of God and the power that I walk by faith. And every single time y'all tell me blessings, them blessings produce more blessings for me. I don't take that word blessing lightly. It's all about unblocking your blessings for yourself and for your business. And when people say, tell you at the very least that they say blessings onto you, I say, thank you, Jesus. Because every blessing matters. So I'm here to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I am ready to, and qualified to raise my rates. It's time. It's time. I can. I know just about everything I could potentially know as far as what I did to grow my business to this point. And so I do these clarity calls for clients who want to check in with me and talk to me. So like I said, when you go over to sisters.com for slash ready, you'll be able to see there are quite a few ready for revenue resources sitting and waiting there for you, whether it be a VIP day with me or those 10 or individual clarity calls that you can lock in at $30 because again, that's unheard of. But I'm doing that because I feel called to do that until August 1st when I raise them rates. Because you got to be ready to put yourself in a new space as you're ready to serve the people you want to serve to help them get to a new space, right? Each one teach one and we all make it to the top, right? So all of those things I want to share with you again, you can find them, learn about them, go over to sisterssense.com for it slash ready. I literally have five more minutes with you because my clarity calls start at 830. So I got to go. But before I do, I want to make sure that I wrap this nice and tight up in a little boat for you, okay? So... When it comes to your email subscribers, there are three types of people you should have on your email subscriber list right now. I know a lot of you guys think about your email opt-in offers, right? And you go, oh my God, I need to have a freebie or a new freebie. That's important because you, you need new traffic. You need new people on your list, number one, right? But number two, I'm going to be honest with you, what's equally, if not more important, is customers. So I want to ask you, those of you who go, look, Lashon, number one, I'm ready to grow. I'm ready to generate that revenue online. Number two, I am ready for Oprah. I'm ready for the call. <laughs> I am ready for new money. I'm ready for that growth. Do you capture customers? For those of you who are selling stuff, enjoy your day. You too, my dear. Hopefully I get to jump on here and talk to you a little bit later. Um, for those of you who are ready, and you're selling some things online, when people buy your stuff or when customers buy your stuff, are you creating a space that you've easily made it for them to automatically get on your email list? Whether you're buying at an event or you're buying, you're selling your stuff, whether you're selling at an event or you're selling stuff online or you're selling stuff on Amazon or your own platform, when people buy from you, are they getting on your email list? Your email list it's not just about you growing visibility by getting new people to get your freebie. A lot of people talk about that stuff, 
And it's important, but it's not the only stuff. You need actual customers on your list too, so you can sell to them. Those are some of the things that I talked about in the Mastermind webinar that I did yesterday. I talked about three of the best types of people you need to have on your list. Do you have customers? Who has a good amount of their customers? At least 80% of customers that buy from you on your list, yes or no? Some of you, maybe you capture a few, but you're not capturing enough of them. And I talk about how to do that, how to integrate your sales and your email list in that Grow Your List webinar that I did yesterday. The replays are online for the ladies in my mastermind, right? So you got to be in the mastermind if you want to watch those replays. And by the way, if you're in the Sister Sense circle, the VIP list, one of the things that you get is 90 days in my mastermind. How low can you go? <laughs> I put so much in that bundle. It's seriously on the low, low as far as how much you need to invest in to literally get everything that I've got for you. The mastermind, the back to business virtual conference, the new eBooks, the new webinars, the new bundle, the ultimate girl boss bundle 2.0. You, everything is in that VIP list experience. This is in summer circle. I'm just keeping it real. You got to get it before it goes away because it's going away. Sunday. Sunday's the last day to get inside the VIP list. So I talked about identifying for yourself. Do you have those two email subscriber types? Do you just have a few people who are coming in because they're new prospects and they came in because they got something or they want something free from you? But also is your email list built of people who have bought from you? Because here's the deal. I don't have to proactively pay for ads. I don't have to proactively market. I could just go on my email and say, hey, here's a promotion today to people who have brought stuff from me. And here, the easiest person to sell to is somebody who's already bought from you. So if your email list is just comprised of leads and not enough customers, you got to build the relationship with the leads. So yesterday, one of the things that I did was I talked about sales funnels. Who needs a sales funnel? So I took people, I took the ladies in my mastermind, my mentees, I took them inside of my convert kit and I showed them the process of creating an opt-in offer that's connected to an upsell offer so that literally you can go through the process and generate revenue and people who buy great, yes. And people who don't buy, you put them in a sales funnel, you send them emails for at least a week and or beyond. The whole process, I broke it down in that mastermind yesterday. Replays online today. Now, I got to go because I have a clarity call, but those are three questions that I wanted you guys to think about today. If you're ready for the call, if you're ready for revenue, great. That means that number one, you've got your products, your brands, your packages ready. Number two, you're ready for growth, meaning that if Oprah, somebody calls you today, you have a community that you've created, right? You're ready. You've got a community. And number three, one specific aspects of building your community is having a list, an email list, not just for prospects, but for customers too. Are you ready in those three areas? If you need some clarity and support, remember you can email sense at gmail.com, number one. Or number two, you can go to the ready for, Reven ready, ready for revenue resources tongue tied that I have for you at sizzlesense.com forward slash ready. Somebody drop that into the comment box. Let me know if you got any questions. If this has been helpful to you, let me know what any light bulbs, ahas that you got from this session today. Drop them into the comment box, okay? Because I'm going to read them when I get some time. My first clarity call starts literally right now, so I do have to go. Um, know that I love you. Know that I, I just appreciate being able to come on here and share with you guys. The fact that you're here, I appreciate that. So, of course, share this out. Um, Checking in within me with me if you need me and I'll see you right back here real soon. All right. So mwah, till next time, take care.